dawn of the final day? What's cracking, peeps? It's Jax. It is Saturday. Here we go. Hey, look, it's our girls. What's going on? Oh. Ah, at least. Rose and Marie. Sorry, I'm really cold. Full of cheer, aren't you? What else can we be? What else can we expect from Freya today, Elise? Rose and Marine. Ah, yes. Oh, it's all four of them. Saying. I've made flower crowns for all of us. For you too, of course. Oh, a flower crown. What do you say we dance about the maypole together, Rose and Marine? Oh, dancing about the maypole. You two are spoiling her too much. Why, she's not from Kieferberg, Elise. Freya's right, Elise. We won't have many other chances. Why don't you take her home, then? Oh, Elise, that's such a wonderful idea. What is? A sleepover. Oh, a sleepover. For goodness sake. Cute. Yugen hasn't left yet. Looking forward to today, are we? Ah, of course. Is everything alright, Mr. Yugen? Kieferberg's got some of its cheer back, you see. I'm not certain I can say the same about myself, is all. Because of your horses. Rose and Marine! <laughs> She's right, at least. Things aren't as they used to be. It pains me to leave town, to be honest. Yeah, I don't think I can ever look at it the way I used to. Mr. Yuganite. That's in the past, now, lass. All we have now is to make the most of the festival. It'll be the last, after all. It'll be the last. Oh, for him. Well, she she sounds like she's just saying that in general. Well, ready for the procession? At a girl. We couldn't miss it, Mr. Gustav. Good thing it's so sunny out today. This is how Kieferberg ought to be. Cheer, hope, and faith. That's what folks need today. Your cheer alone is more than enough for all of us, Kieferberg. All of Mr. What? what? I can see where Freya gets hers from. It's what keeps us moving forward, isn't it? Atta girl! <laughs> us folk ought to keep our memories close to our hearts, lass, especially in days like these. Oh, I suppose. Oh, that's such a wonderful... Rosemarine jumping in on all the conversations all of a sudden. Who's... Wait, Ollie and Heidi? Who? I know, Mr. Gustav, I know. Wait, wait, I, I, I kind of just skimmed over some of that stuff. Oh, that's how we start everything. What about our food items? Four bread, two hearty soup, an apple strudel, lebkuchen, berries, that roast turkey that I'm probably going to end up giving to Thingy, and uh, how much cash we got? 15. Ah, uh, I just want to see what's going on. Here we go. Your cousin's coming along too, Elise. Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm glad you're joining us. There's so much to be grateful for today. You wouldn't believe how relieved I am that today has finally come. I'd say we're all relieved, Mrs. Odalihi. There are quite a few outsiders in town, too. I've seen a few new faces, that's for certain. It's a good sign, folks. Maybe some of these folks might move here. Now that's asking a little much. Yes. Why, I wouldn't mind staying here if it, if it weren't for... Rose and Marine! <laughs> oh, that would be wonderful. <laughs> Come now, it's time we gather for the procession. Oh, what a blessed old day. Yes. Here we go. Oh, I need to eat some bread for the festival. Oh, that was tiring. Thank goodness it's over. It's best I go join everyone by the inn now. Right, let's have some. Uh, let's get that bread. Get that bread. There we go. A romantic date. Head to the festival. We gotta meet Leb Kuin at the festival, of course. Who's this? Who's this old? Who's this guy? A traveller. Folks are rather cheery today, aren't they? Yes, this is also a traveller, aren't they? Yes. Oh, okay. So we got some some other NPCs just floating about the place. Mm. Oh, 
on the children. There she is, there she is. Have you heard, Elise? Of course she hasn't, Jacob. You just made it up. <laughs> we made these tickets for you, Elise. What? Festival ticket. Oh, cool. Tickets? What for? So you can play with us, silly. Jacob wants to play kiss. No, no. Apple! You brats and that filthy thing. Mama will trade it for you, Elise. Uh, Mr. Gustav and Mrs. Ariane are also in on it, so go and talk to them. Oh, yay. Freya's made some flower crowns. Okay. There's a lot There's a lot to do, a lot going on. Basically, there's work tasks at the festival, which there wouldn't normally be, so this is an excuse for them to have work tasks, I guess. It's good to see them in good cheer after all that. Yeah, everyone just seems... Everyone seems good. It's kind of nice, almost. Now I want to see it all fall apart. No, we got. To, I don't need to work. I'm going on my date. Screw you all. Wait, 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 wait. Hold, hold on. Um, I think I can hear Muffy's thing. So we need to see Muffy. Um, there's no need to pretend. Uh, you've been hiding something from me. I know it. I won't ask you what that is, but can I trust you, Elise? I would never do anything to betray your trust, Leb. <laughs> what are you laughing about, you? I can't help it when you look so serious. Well, I am serious about you. Oh. Speaking of which, won't you come with me to the bell tower? Oh, man. She's something she'd like to tell. I've was. i got to speak to Muffy or she's going to rat on me. Rather cute, aren't you? Glow. Let's give it. Give me a moment. I still have some pocket to stiffle. What? Tif where's? Um, I swear I keep hearing Muffy like popping her head out or something. There, there she is. Sneaking around town, even on a day like this, Miffy. <laughs> Elise, thank goodness you're here. Let me guess. Mrs. Gretel's bringing in more pastries later. You see. But Auntie only gave me a few tifflers. I, I still. I'm not lending you a single coin, Molly. Oh, but Elise. My Auntie's so stingy, and I haven't had. Not one. I'm not budging, even if you cry, Mandy. Get over it. I haven't got cash. Now she wants cash, but I've bought a roast turkey for her. Go ask Granny Gretel, why don't you? Tell her I sent you. Granny Gretel wouldn't say no to you, anyhow. Ah. Uh. Okay, so we don't need, didn't need to worry about her. Also, we could have had a date, obviously, with Freya or... Um, or at least a, some sort of significant chat with Freya and... Rose Marine. Hey, let's go to the bell tower. Before Father Hahn sees us. Attend the Walpurgis, Walpurgis Festival. This is exciting. I am excited. <laughs> Kieferberg's unrecognizable today, isn't it? Looks quite the same to me, ought to say. It wasn't a joke, Lepkuin. I'm well aware it wasn't, at least. That's what I find is so amusing. Amusing, you say? You're leaving soon, aren't you, Elise? Huh? Or something along those lines, I'm certain. I don't know yet, Lebkuhn. I'm still... <laughs> yes, you do, Elise. I can tell. You're going to that castle, aren't you? Don't be silly, Lebkuhn. At some level, Elise, it's what you've always wanted. She knows us, man. Kieferberg can't possibly give you any of that. What would you say I want, Lebkuhn? More. You've always wanted better, to go further, to live more. Even when we were young, you never tr were truly satisfied, were you? Neither was I, Elise. Huh? I told you, I never quite grew into this habit, or this veil. In fact, I'm not even certain who I am without them. Oh, here we go. 
It's got to be that one. You're not certain, but I am, Leb. We both know who you are without it, don't we? It's true, you tend to hide. You've always been that way, but... My, how clever. You're doing it again! You seriously thought I'd never notice? Not necessarily. You, despite Father Hans. Not to mention Mrs. Orly, he... You load that dust rag of a veil and that grisly habit too. That's why you had Mrs. Marielle cover it in frills and decorations. It's the colour I'm not so fond of, but... You don't have a single Bible or rosary in your bedroom, let alone a cross. Even I have a silly altar, and you're the nun. Quit denying it, Leb Kuhn. Come now, show me your hand. Oh, things are getting a bit... Heated! We know each other better than anyone else, don't we? Are they pinky promising? Or the, I can't tell. I don't want to be a burden to you, Elise. That's enough hiding, wouldn't you say? I'm not. Uh-oh. There's nothing left to hide. Not from me. Oh dear, here, here. It's, 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 this is where it's going. I've been waiting, Leb. Tell me. I need you to promise me something first. As long as it's not an excuse for you to... Promise me you'll be alright. With or without me, it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, she'll be she'll be fine. Uh, her children, I'm not so sure. I can't expect you to watch over me forever, can I? Yeah, that's exactly what you'll do if I let you, isn't it? Ooh. Dang, she, she went, like, past all of it to, to, to the L word. Of course I will, for as long as you'll have me. I thought they were. I thought there was going to be an actual kiss. Okay, never mind. Come now. There's something I'd like to show you, Leb. If it's with you, Elise. You're so embarrassing. Let's go, 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 go. Where are we going, anyway? Oh, wait. Where did that come from? Is that just because we got enough heart pieces? Right. So it becomes a strong bond. That's just how you get it. And I got it on the final day. So you could get it earlier, potentially. That's a creepy doll. It looks like it's like real. Like it looks like they made it. Interesting. So, is there a way you can not get, um... Oh! This is it. There's no going back. I've got everything. It's only a matter of... Is everything alright? Um, <clears throat> yes. Um, what's I... I need a moment. I should make certain I have everything in my basket. It's best I hurry and get everything ready. The good company. Proof of Leb Kuhn's undying love for Elise. It looks like it's a different colour. Do I have to prepare it? Like we had to prepare the others. Do we have to prepare that? Look at that, Leb Kuhn. Yeah, so... Oh, so five got us the strong bond, not four. So five was what we needed. Good to know for future playthroughs. Let's give it a save. It says explore the woods and find him. And that's us taking Leb Kuhn. Oh my god, like we literally, yeah, we literally just got Leb Kuhn to tell her that she loves us. And now we're taking her to the woods. I didn't even think about it when she was saying it. It's like I've I'm, I'm, I've got to tell you. Oh my god, this is gonna be horrible. Hopefully, we've done. We've got the three testaments. Because surely completing all of this stuff is the true ending. Because that's what happens. Oh 
now this is gonna be this is gonna she's gonna be like what's going on Elise keep close to me all right it's best we don't wander about we could get lost oh her eyes have already oh since when have you known about this place Elise since uh, Monday I suppose I guess they get put under like a spell when they enter the woods just like Lebku and uh, Rosemarine did because look at her it's so beautiful I've never seen so many butterflies in one place I don't know if I'd call it beautiful but oh but it is Elise look at how blue the sky looks from here hmm Oh, Elise, this is better than watching the stars at night. Come, Libku, and stay close to me. I wouldn't want you to get lost. Hmm. Interesting. A tender flesh of earthly desire. So you can choose to make an offering or not. Something are we too late with the third one? Did I need to prepare it? Oh, I've never seen so many together. Huh? Why all these fireflies, Elise? Fireflies? This truly is a wonderful place. I'm a bit concerned that I've got the, the final testament, but it's not prepared like it normally is because it's meant to be a gift. Yeah, I got mushroom. You know? Golden girl. Oh, how wonderful. How I miss being in your shoes, lass. You're just there. Oh, was it one we've already seen before? Because we're retracing our steps, aren't we? Is this where we would see all of them? Putting all your eggs in one basket, not that I can blame you. Playing with fire is rather addictive, isn't it? Fingers crossed you won't get burnt. Such lovely company you're bringing him, lass. A bit of a waste, isn't it? It's very curious what goes on. Oh, uh, wait. Uh, oh, yeah, that's it. No, no, no. We gotta go. Wait, no. Wait, what? Huh? I'm so confused. I've managed to drop all the way down. Oh, my God. Up. 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 Can't go that way. Up. Can't go that way. Up again. Then where do I go from here? How do I... Oh wait, no. I jump down that way to go up this way. And then do that. And then go down and up. There we go. Oh, that poor, poor witch. One truly can't win against him. Huh. The witch was against him. Would you say it was worth it, lass? Not that you would know before meeting him either way. So this is where all your golden girls are, like how many you found overall. <laughs> Definitely didn't find them all. Ma, aren't you generous? I'll be looking forward to having that friend of yours join us for dessert. Let's do the second one. I'm really worried about the third one, in truth. fountain. The water's so clear. I wonder if we could drink from here. <laughs> oh, it's best we don't. <laughs> I'm sure it'd be alright. A fountain. Is she seeing something I'm not? Hmm. This is getting interesting. Oh, what's that? Is that a mushroom? It sure is. What's this? The good company, the object of one's affections. I suppose this will be enough. Why does that not give me the same vibes as the other one? Oh, 
And that's three, baby. So I wonder what would happen if you didn't do it. Why? I didn't know you had it in you. What? Please. Bringing me to such a wonderful place, Elise. Come now, there's an even better place up ahead. Man, she's just willing to just send her to the wolves. Dang, Elise is cold. The tree, of course. The gates that old hag told me about. This is it. <laughs> She's like, well, happy. I did it. They're open. But if I go through with this, I... I might lose her. You've come this far. I wish I'd saved it. Did I save it? We did save it before we went into the forest. That's alright. I'll just say my wish. I've come all this way. I ought to find him. Yeah, exactly. I have to do... Oh, look, it's giving you another chance. I'll have him grant it for me if it kills me. Or her. <laughs> have some conviction, Elise. Hmm... There she goes. What did you think was going to happen, Elise? She was taken? I've come this far. I ought to go meet him. She does not give a flip-flop. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Who called it? Obviously. Like, I bet most people did, to be fair, but obviously. Oh, the creepy girl laughs. Oh, well, I'm definitely saving it on <laughs> the next one. In case I want to change my mind and see what ending that gives me. Hmm. Looks familiar right at the start of the game. I feel I've been here before. Whoa. There's Flock. I called it. I mean, it's pretty obvious because he's like a goat. But, you know. Dang, son. What in the Lord's name? I can't stay here. I need to find a way. Yeah, we need to. Woo! We need to. Go, 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 go. Place is falling apart here. Oh, there's some blue. Oh gosh, blue flame everywhere. Oh, okay, we can't. Okay, I can't. Oh god. Okay, I can't go that way. Um. Okay, the blue is surrounded me. I think I'm dead. Okay, so. Hmm. Okay. Hey, getting somewhere. Left door. No, the middle. Middle. Right. This was the one. I'm pretty sure. I'm like pretty sure this is the door he went through. Hey, I was right. He went left again, then it changes. Okay. Is it still... Cr oh, okay, great. Uh, oh, perfect timing. Well, we're not using our health for anything else, so I might as well, you know. Where's the doors? Show me the... Oh, the bad timing. The bad... Oh my god, bad timing. Give me them berries. Right. Come on, come on, come on. Left door, left door, left door. Right, right, right. Du, 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 du. Right, this one. I'm very good at those games. <laughs> very good. Alright, flock. Lead the way. Oh, God. Nice. Good shot. I'll give you that one. Oh, bugger. That might cost me big. Man, I have to do this all over as well. That's really annoying. 
Um, give me that spiced vest. A, A. Right, went left, and then right, and then, right, then that one, and then that one, and then middle, and then right, left, right, left, go. I think that was it. Find your way. Oh, freaking get in. After I went through that first one, I. Done it. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this, there's a blue snake on that. What does that really represent? I'm trying to see any if there's any pocket mirror sort of stuff. What in the Lord's name? No, it's like all of these women providing offerings to the devil. Are we the daughter in the middle? What is this place? Hellish visions of desolate lands extend into the horizon. Uh, we can save this over the same one because it doesn't matter. And a blue snake, like this female. What? The, what is that? What's this? Okay. Just slowly walking through the fires of hell. Flock. Where is that annoying goat? He got in the house again. Oh, it's a theatre. Oh, of course it is. He loves the theatre, does he? Flock! What are you doing here? The free. Oh. There he is! Oh, snap! Oh, well, this guy's named down as Ozzy. We meet again, Elise. I can't remember what voice I did for you last time. I think it was more like, hello there, because it's like he was putting on a show. We meet again, Elise. <laughs> what are you? Here, I thought you'd be happy to see me. I, I don't, let's have a word, Elise. You've come here for a reason, haven't you? For my wish. Why don't we discuss this over the feast you've brought me? Oh, this will be good. Oh, lovely. Okay. <laughs> Much better, isn't it? You're him, aren't you? Ozzy, mm -hmm. Elise. I mean, that's what the the, the font kind of looks like, Ozzy. The strange boy. Okay, am I calling you Ozzy? I guess I am. At your service. This wish of mine, can you truly... For a price, yes. I've already brought you your gifts, what else could you... <laughs> Speaking of which... Wait. Wait, I've brought you what you asked of me. You silly girls keep misunderstanding. These are mere gifts, Elise, a little courtesy. You're yet to pay for what you truly desire. What? That witch made you think otherwise, did she? How do you know that... I know everything about you, at least. I knew you'd like the shoes, too. So you were the one who... Rather tasteless, isn't she? Trying to use me to lure you into her belly. What? Yeah, yeah, explain this. The witch? You're well aware who I'm talking about, aren't you? That old hag. She was speaking the truth, Elise. These gifts brought you to me. Oh, they didn't quite need them, did you? What do you mean? We have a unique bond, Elise. Me, you, that witch, and your grandmother. Hole, was it? 
Will you? Calm down, won't you? Your grandmother is no stranger to me, lassie. I called it. Called that very early on. Yeah. Begged me for a child, and here you are. Back to your roots. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Oh, okay, yeah. So I was saying that she asked for a child, and he got a lease. I just didn't realise. And I imagine that the child was given to her by by him. Um, I just didn't realise he'd say it's like his baby, essentially. <laughs> you mean Granny Hole also? Conceiving you in that witch's woodlands, that witch's woodland, was a mistake. That's what made her believe she had a part in it. That you're her kin, even. Okay. What are you talking about? <laughs> Why about your dear mother, Elise? My mother? The only mother I've ever had was Granny. <laughs> Let's put that past us. You're here for a reason. You did good in bringing me your tender flesh and the sweetest nectar. You even brought me some good company for supper. For supper? Mm -hmm. So let us dine, Elise. What is it you wish for? Tell me more about what it is you desire, why don't you? You mention it. <laughs> what I want is... <laughs> I can't hear you, lassie. Speak up! I want to be rich. Look at all them golden girls just <laughs> laughing. That's all I've ever wanted. Silence! My apologies, Elise. They're not so easy to tame, you see. What are they, anyhow? My golden maidens, you ask? Nothing but mere servants, Elise. But let us focus, now. You want to be rich, you say. That's what your heart most desires, is it? I want an easy and luxurious life. They're laughing at me again, sir. No more of this made-of-all-work nonsense. I want to live in a castle, to live comfortably, forever. To live out my dream together with... What are you all laughing at? I have a price, Elise. Whatever you'd like. <laughs> Your first born child. Enter Pocket Mirror and Goldia. Sorry for spoilers. <laughs> I'm gonna do it though. No, I'm not gonna not talk about Pocket Mirror and what I know. So if you haven't done what I'm talking about with Pocket Mirror, go watch Pocket Mirror, go watch my little video, and then come back right here to this very moment and, and carry on. My second born child wait what? <laughs> Oh, how am I to know you'll have two children, Elise? How are you to know I'll have any at all? He's like, oh. Why, don't you trust me? I've shown you my loyalty, haven't I? She's trying to be clever. I've brought you your gifts, every last one. It's the least you could do. You're certain this is what you want, Elise? A luxurious life, starting right this instant. Well then. Let us indulge in the first course now, why don't we? He hasn't got his hat on this time. Oh, what the f- oh no, this is creepy. Elise? See, that's actually her- oh god, this is going to be horrible. Oh my god. I don't know if I can watch this. Oh. Elise? Lebkun? <laughs> Let us make a toast, Elise. Yeah, that's actually her. Oh my lord. Like, she knows what's going on. She's like, oh dear. What did you do to her? Yeah. Me? Let her go. <laughs> my, I don't think you'd want that, lassie. Our contract is sealed, after all. Uh. Come now. You know what we're doing here, Elise. I told you to let her go, you... <laughs> Let's get this out of the way. Why don't we? Oh no. Elise, these gifts, Elise, the testaments to your loyalty, the tender flesh, your own mortal body, the sweetest nectar, your very own blood, and the good company. Now that's the one you hold dearest to your heart, Elise. No, that c can't be. Elise, save me. No, no, you you can't do this. Elise! <laughs> <Please. laughs> 
Stop. This isn't what I meant to do. Nobody told me. Nobody told me about this. Oh, they're so noisy. Can we get this over with already? So noisy. That's what I said. You lousy, you lousy crow. Wait, what? Where's the crow? My. Oh wait, look, the two people holding it, holding Lebkuen. One's got wings like the bird, and the other's got like a tongue like the snake. Okay. <laughs> Let us feast. Vri, is a real. How could you, Elise? I trusted you. I, I, I trusted you, Elise. Help me, please, Elise. Lebkuen. What the? What? Okay. Oh. Oh my word. She's literally watching. Oh my word. But this is it. This is like the true ending, right? Because this. She has to do it one way or another. This isn't what I. What? Oh my god. Lipkuin's calling for me. This isn't what I meant to do. Not at all. No, no, no. I'm trying to play out for the truth of how it all goes down. Surely, surely her, like, letting it all happen is the true ending. Surely it is. Like, I don't know. But saying stop and stuff like that, I don't think that's it. This is, this is Elise. This is Goldia's mother. And she wanted those riches, and she will do whatever it takes to get them. How could you, Elise? You betrayed me. You betrayed me, Elise. Lacuin, she's the good company. I need to. I can still save her if I. I can still save. I'm not doing it, man. I'm not. I can still stop this. Lipkuin's. She's going to die. Is this. Maybe there is a way to save her and still get the outcome you want, but. I'm not doing it. I will never forgive you, Elise. Never. Lepkuin, she's glaring at me. What is this? There's so much blood. There's nothing I... I loved you, Elise. How I loved you, Elise. Lepkuin, she's... These are some dark choices. I'm making her sit there and watch this and just not do anything about it. Just frozen in like shock, but with conviction in her mind that this is what she wanted. Oh, I'm full. <laughs> She's like, oh my god, what if I just went? He literally just went there and like literally devoured her. Like, yeah. Is Lebkuin a golden maiden now? Oh, I must thank you, Elise. This is creepy, man. Not only for the feast, but for this beautiful new addition to my entourage. Yeah, look at her. She's up there. <laughs> we'll meet again, Elise. I will be there. On the day your second child is born. I don't get it. He said your first... I swear he said the first born child. And she was like, second born. And he's just agreed to that. So how does she end up with Goldia? If she, maybe she just didn't think or care or forgot. I can't remember. There's Leb Le Lebkuin. Until we meet again. Elise. Dang, son. The Sunday. Oh my god. So now what?
Surely Golden Girl Lipkurian's going to be haunting Elise for the rest of her days. Holy, she's got a carriage. Is that from Primaldorf? Miss, oh, it's him. Miss Elise Lidl? Oh, that's a Lidl, I reckon. Uh, um, I'm here on behalf of Count Roman de Hilly. Yes, there it is, de Hillyish. The de Hillyish family, that's their names. Elise de Hillyish, Goldia. Henry, or Heinrich, and the dad's name I can't remember, or Count Roman, or, yeah. The Count would very much like to see you, Miss Elise. Would you please allow me to escort you to the castle? Dang. She's just like, doesn't even say a word. Oh, the red moon. Or is that the sun? Probably the sun. <laughs> oh. Wishes. The manifestation of one's most inner most desire. Oftentimes leading to glorious glee, others to ruinous grief. Bearers of strong emotions and hopeful hearts. Youthful girls risk their very soul to reach my realm, carrying their lanterns deep into the woods, lighting their paths like fireflies one after the other, whether they are granted their wishes or they are offered as a sacrifice. All their dreams, all their souls, all of their regret, they all fall into the palm of my hand one way or another. My beloved golden maidens, how much I cherish them. Out of all the souls I've consumed, Elise's is the most promising, the most fragrant. So she stills becomes a golden maiden. Will she thrive or will she sink into the depths of despair? Well, we we both know what happens there. This is credits. Dang. <laughs> oh, well, there we go. <laughs> okay. That was really interesting. I'm so glad that I stuck to the conviction, my convictions, though. Because, obviously, there's like, I think there's like nine other endings. And I'm not saying that Leb Kuhn is, is the, 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 the one for the true ending. I didn't mean it like that. I just meant that Elise not doing anything else, like not saving Leb Kuhn, not even stopping them from doing anything. Her allowing her to be a sacrifice is what went down so that Elise could get what she wanted so that she could marry Roman de Hillier and become a part of the de Hillier um, the family and then they have two kids Henry and then of course Goldia and then Goldia's very complex uh, story, which I won't, I which I won't get too far into, um, because it's just it's a ride in itself. Um, but there we are. That was so cold. I didn't think we'd actually. I didn't, we didn't see it, but like him, literally eating Leb Kuhn, like eating her whole. No, here we go. I got precisely what he promised me. Nothing more, nothing less. Fortune, wealth, a second chance at happiness. Yet. Yeah. 
What if things had been different? Here we go. No matter how big the ballroom, or how glorious the dresses, I found myself feeling out of place. Yeah, I can't remember exactly what... Because you learn about the family, obviously, uh, in Pocket Mirror as you go through it. I can't remember what specifically... What happened? I think... Did she become, like, depressed? Um, and stuff like that, because the dad was always away. And she struggled as a mother and stuff. I can't remember exactly what it was. Maybe this will say, but... She found herself feeling out of place. None of it came close to what I sacrificed. It all felt vapid, worthless, far from what I truly wanted. Yeah, I don't think she was a very good mother. Which makes sense. The harrowing regret haunted me day and night. I bet she always sees Lebku in there. Unearthly visions of her the look on her face the night I lost her forever there it is he too visited me in the dead of night reminding me of my own foolishness my futility there it is all I had left was my progeny my beloved son Henry yeah it was Henry my one and only child I will never put you in harm's way. Mm, never will that demon get my second born child. There is only you, Henry. You're my only hope. My one chance at happiness. Yet, fate wouldn't have it that way. Of course not. There she is. I had twins. A boy, Henry. And a daughter. Won't say the name because you might want to play the sequel. <laughs> My beloved daughter. <laughs> yeah, they didn't say the name because <laughs> that's a large part of Pocket Room. Um, he's going to take her from me. Oh, that book on the front, it had Elisa and Leb and Leb and crossed out. Oh. Oh. And he did take her, as per his end of the bargain. I still had Henry, yet I'd lost not only the one I loved most, but also the fight against him, and now my daughter as well. I left to take refuge in a monastery, for a chance at redemption, in an attempt to reach Leb Kuhn through prayer. Interesting. When did this happen? Was this when, again spoilers, was this when Goldia was in the hospital and going through everything? I can't ask for your forgiveness, nor am I worthy. All I ask is thou is able is, is to allow me to spend the last of my days in peace, to prepare my soul for eternal damnation. Oh Lord, if I'm to burn in hell, May I at least meet her once more before I... I don't think you should deserve that ending. Oh, look, there she is. Oh, this is weird. Oh, my God. This is nuts. You've done enough, Elise. I forgive you. Oh. Come, Elise. Let us go. Your time has come. I'm sorry, Libkuen. She's over it. <laughs> oh, my beloved Libkuen. Judas's kiss. Sacrifice. Ending number three. Sacrifice Libkuen. Right, so I'm going to basically say stop every time, even though I don't think it will make the blindest bit of difference, but we've got to know. We've got to know. Oh. Gives me Undertale vibes, you know. Freaking flowy at the end there, you know. Right, so we've got, we got, we got, we could, we got a saver. There must be a way. 
They must be away. This isn't what I meant. Stop! Oh, it literally doesn't make a difference. Wait, We had an agreement, Elise. It's a pity, isn't it, that you lack the resolve to see this through. <laughs> Come now, join us, why don't you? Oh, is it just a death? She becomes a golden maiden anyway. Interesting. Does Lebkuin live? Don't tell me that's just a game over. Sacrifice yourself for your beloved. Okay, that's a... I mean, I care so little for video game achievements. It's not even... If I have to... Okay. Let's make the assumption, guys. <laughs> Let's make the assumption that every time we did that, we would die. Um... Hey, it's uh, Future Jack here. I'm just throwing this in at the end of the video because uh, I realised I can get uh, an, another ending, or maybe two. I need to try and remember because um, I have seen them all. Um, so yeah, let's let's get. Should we get? Should we, do you guys want to see a happy ending for these two? Um, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if I just? Can you just not go through otherwise? because yeah. this is the load where we have everything so I just wanted to see if we didn't get um, so what if we had a dope menu hang on also explore the woods okay there's nothing else we could do anyway after you go for your date that's it right so I'm gonna skippity do make our way through Right, here we go. Um, so, okay. Because I think it gives you a choice after this, doesn't it? If I click make an offering. Isn't there a chance to backtrack even after you choose to do this? Oh yeah, it's at the tree, isn't it? Yeah, it's the tree. Oh, also I changed the audio to Japanese just to mix it up. I started replaying. Also, if you didn't know, um, saw it on Twitter, the voice actor for Elise, I don't know about the others, but the voice actor for Elise is both the English and the Japanese uh, audio. So she does both uh, languages. That's kind of cool. Very jealous of anyone that can speak multiple languages. Hit it up in the comments. <laughs> Yatta! Um... I might lose her. This is what we're saying. If I go through this, I might lose her. If what's on the other side of these gates is anything like the woods, I can't go through with this. She chooses her. It is a... What's the matter, Elise? So, We've seen enough of this place, haven't we? I thought you had something to show me. It doesn't matter anymore, Leb. Let's go home before it gets any darker out. You've been hiding something from me, Elise. I was, but not anymore. What do you mean? I love you, Leb Kuhan. She finally says it. And then... <gasps> because she opens her heart to her, the woods completely change. Look at that. And there's no chance. Come now, let's have supper together. You'll never tell me what... She just literally said the L word. What do you... Oh, what? What you... Ah, oh, okay. She said you never tell me what's going on with the devil. In time, Lebkuin. For now, all I want is to spend this evening with you. Watching the stars. We can. Uh, hold hands to you all. How daring. Come now. This is their happy end. It's a, this ending is attainable if you obviously get the strong bond and then 
like I just, like you just saw, choose to not sacrifice her and go against your wish for riches. Look, they get their book, where she isn't crossed out and dead. <laughs> <laughs> we leave Kieferberg the week after the festival. Lekuchin's excitement to finally leave was palpable, and so was mine. Oh, please be careful out there, my love. <laughs> oh, who are they? I will, Granny, don't you worry about that. was short, Granny. I can't even see her in the picture. Is she there? She's the the bakery. I'll miss you too so much. <laughs> we will miss you too, Freya, but we'll come visit. Oh, please write us off when you're here. I have bread for you too. We will, Granny. Goodbye. We didn't know what to do with ourselves. All we wanted to do was travel. Always on the road, looking for the next best town to visit. We did odd jobs here and there, stopping at every inn and living with whatever we earned each day. I could tell Leb Kuhn felt more liberated than ever. While I felt I was living a dream, having finally left the person I was in Kieferberg behind, until the day we both realised there was something missing. Money. <laughs> we had each other. We were young and free, but... Are you sure this is what you want, Elise? Let's at least stop by and see how everyone's doing, alright? I suppose it's I suppose it's been a while, that's true. Kieferberg truly is where we both feel most at home, isn't it? Everywhere feels like home when you're with me, Leb. Yet there's something missing, isn't there? I suppose that's what we're going to find out. However, nothing could have pre prepared us for what would happen. Come now, folks. Excuse me. Let me through. I need to talk to Leb Kuhn. Uh, at least, can we have a word about the windmill renovations? Not now, Mr. Heinrich. I'm looking for Leb Kuhn. There you are, Leb Kuhn. Are you looking for me, Elise? Everyone's pestering me over these renovations. Folks are moving in next month, Elise. It's only natural. Hounding me won't make them come any faster, though. More importantly, at least, won't you come up to the bell tower with me? Ah, what for? Why, for lunch, silly. Roast sandwiches, remember? Oh no, it's noon already. I promised Mr. Gustav I'd help him and the lads. <laughs> come now, Elise. You're too wound up. Let's go upstairs. Leb Kuhn's now Kieferberg's elder. After Father Hans kicked the bucket, of course. She's our teacher, nurse, baker. She can do anything she sets her mind to, it seems. She still spends most of her time in church, if it can be called that. We've made it a point to renovate. Made a point. We've made it a point to renovate it away with St. Walperga. Uh, there's some law to that as well. And all those crosses, old crosses. Say, Elise, I was just chatting with Mrs. Wilmer just now. Oh, I told you her not to pester you with nonsense. She's been wanting to ask you about her inn, you see. She's afraid she won't have enough room for everybody and We'll just have to build her a bigger inn then. Problem solved. Generous, aren't you? Shush, we can afford it. As for me, I suppose I'm the mayor now. Mr. Gustav said it was time for a change after Father Hans died and appointed the role to me himself, but I never imagined I'd enjoy it so much. What's the point of having folks over if they're not making any money? <laughs> You're enjoying this, aren't you? Things are finally starting to change around here, Leb. Can you believe folks are moving from Primaldorf to Kieferberg now? You look the prettiest when you're passionate about something. Did you know that? Oh, I like the other version, the, the, the other Leb Kuhn audio. It sounds really funny. You're red as a beat. Ending 7. The Bells of Dawn. Bear witness to Elise and Leb Kuhn's fate. Now we're going to take Freya or Rosenmarine without the specified number of uh, of dates. So we're going to take Rosenmarine, who we've only got one heart with. Wait, I haven't watched it. Folks have been trying to dance with me all sorts of food to try. I dance with Gun too. Not a care in the world, huh? 
Heverberg's looking so colourful and lively like a completely different town. I suppose you're right. Is everything alright, Elise? Huh? You're thinking about tonight, aren't you? Rosemary, I have been meaning to ask you something. This fate you speak of, am I powerless to change it? Not at all. Huh? Fate is meant to guide one's path in life, Elise. You may forge your own, or allow fate to do it for you, but you're the one responsible for your own choices. It's still rather foggy for you, isn't it? The whole concept of fate, I mean. Somewhat, yes. Fate makes you aware of all your possibilities as well. Had you not put on those shoes, for example. In truth, Rosemary, what do you say we get going? To the woods? To the woods. Let's go. Oh, here's the other thing, actually. I don't have the third thing anyway. I don't think it matters, actually. Well, because I was... If I'd already had all... I, okay, backtrack. I got the final testament with Leb Kuhn on the final day at the festival. If I'd have already had that, I could still have taken Rosa Marine. I could have put down the third testament, you know? So I wonder now, because I just don't have the third one, what happens? Does it change the, the ending? I'm trying to remember from watching them all. Yeah, and I don't think in my main run I can um, I can get it. I don't think in any of my saves, or I don't want to go back that far, uh, that I can get the good company before the festival. So, because that I think that achieves a different ending. I don't think we're the water's so clear too. Oh, this is such a wonderful place. They're obviously at a pond or another stump. Right, so here we go. So we don't have it. So what happens? The good company, the object of my affections. It's best I check my basket. There should be something I could put in there. But what if there's not? Oh, okay. I can, oh, okay. I can put something else in. Do you know what would he like? I'll tell you what he'd like. He'd like some Leb <laughs> I suppose this will be enough, some Lebku and bread from the best bakery around. Elise. Huh? Where are we? What do you mean? Are we in the woods? We've been here for a while, Rosemarine. The woods? Come now, Rosemarine. We ought to move along before... What? You've brought me here for a reason, haven't you? We've talked about this, Rosemarine. You're the good company. No, Elise. I told you yesterday, the good company is the object of your affections. But you are the... No, Elise. That's not it. I'm here for a reason. What are you talking about, Rosemary? I was never fated to be with you as the good company. What? I'm not the one who was destined to take you to him. You're the one who was destined to bring me here, Elise. That doesn't... You brought me to the womb, Elise. To the grove of creation my granny told me about. Our birthing place. <laughs> That's great. You brought me here to meet Wolperga, the old god. To reconnect with the old faith. What she said. This is my true fate, Elise. Oh look, they're like grappling. Oh, how could I have been so foolish? Let me go, Rosemary. Come with me, Elise. No, let me go. We are meant to be together, right here in her womb. 
No, get your hands off me. There's nothing to be afraid of, Elise. Ooh. We're reaching a deeper plane of existence. Right here in her embrace. We'll be together forever, Elise. Dang. That was cool. So she ends up being a part of um, the old hag and the woods. Her and Rose and Maureen. So now we can go ahead and do that again, but we have we bring Freya with us rather than Lev Kuhn, which will give us a different ending. I also want to redo the bar. I want to see if I can redo my basket and put all wrong items in there. But I think that gives you an ending as well. The kiss, ending number eight, and that was all brought about by Elise's confusion. She assumed Rose and Marine was the good company because she just appeared to her and knows about this stuff. Won't you come on a stroll with me? A stroll? I was hoping we could get away for a little bit. As long as we're back in time to dance. Oh, I'm sure. Let's go. Oh, Elise. I never knew they were... <laughs> Should I give her the, the proper East London, the, the guys in the town accent? I never knew there was such a wonderful place. I don't know if I'd call it wonderful, Freya. Why, but it is. Look at all these butterflies and all these flowers. The sky is so blue here too. <laughs> I can never get a, a voice for her proper. Yeah, I don't have that range, you know. I'd love to be a voice actor. Astral Shift, if you ever see this. I'm available for voice acting. Right, make the offer in. Oh, look at this fountain. I wonder who put this here. What are you talking about? Oh, it's a fountain, not a pond. I was close. That makes more sense, though. Here we go. Here we go. It's best I check my basket. There should be something I can put in there. Oh yeah, I have to put I have to put something as the good company. Uh, how about the mysterious note? Here, you can have this back. Actually, it's not his, but you know, <coughs> it's Father Hans. <coughs> well, let's see what happens. That sounded like a flock. Elise? Huh? Where are we? Weren't we out on the fields just a moment ago? Oh, we're in this, this, uh, out on the fields? Where are we, Elise? The woods, Freya. That's what I wanted to show you. No, I... That place truly was beautiful, but this isn't. I feel strangely. I don't like this. It's all right, Freya. We can just keep going, right? I don't think I want to go any deeper, at least. We could get lost, or even worse, we could. You trust me, don't you, Freya? I, I do, but I don't want to be here, at least. Freya, <laughs> let's go back. Elise. If we go a little further, there's an even more beautiful place. <laughs> oh, wow. Why did you bring me here, Elise? I keep telling you, there's a place I... No, I don't believe you. Ooh. Listen, Freya. No, Elise, this makes... Oh, this is spicy. <laughs> I don't remember getting here or how even... You got the wrong idea, Freya. Ooh. She got the butterflies in her stomach <laughs> and around her. Elise, what are those? This isn't what you think, Freya. She's scared. Freya, to think you were you were the Freya <gasps> Gustav and the crew. Love it. Papa <laughs> Uh oh. There she is, the witch. 
You did well in telling me you were going on a stroll with Elise. Uh, I knew it, Ludwig knew it, of course he did. I knew Elise was the witch. No, I'm nothing of the sort, I... Take her. Take her to the village now. We must do away with the witch. <laughs> Wait. This is good. <laughs> and yeah, if you don't have enough hearts with Leb Kuen and you do the same thing, you basically get the exact same ending, except that obviously Leb's the one protesting and I think it's Father Hans that shows up that Leb Kuen told Father Hans that they were going for a walk. So they were like, let's follow them just in case. This seems a bit odd. There's no change in things now, Freya. May the blessing of the Lord, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with us. May the hallowed St. Walpurga take heed of our prayers. No, stop! We can't do this! Let us pray for the salvation of the witch's soul. May our Lord have mercy and forgive her sins. Papa, tell them to stop! I would want the witch to hell with the witch. Of course, Jochen's like, yes, this is this is excellent news. She can still redeem herself. We don't have to do this. Burn the witch. Burn the witch. Oh, we've got a uh, <laughs> um, Mr. Hop's Playhouse vibes going on here with the witch burning and whatnot. Look at that. That's a great shot. Take a couple of screenshots, you know. No, listen. May such harm be kept out of Kieferberg forever. Make them stop. May Walpurg's soul be purified within her rightful vessel. O oh Lord, have mercy upon the evils of this realm. Stop. Burn the witch. Is, is this as far as I go? Burn her. Burn the witch. To think this is all I'll ever amount to. Couldn't even reach him. Dang. Auto da fe Yeah, what does that mean? Ending number nine. Oh, so that does mean that I do have to do the exact same thing with Leb Kuen as well. The reason this is different to the last time we took Leb Kuen is because we're not, we haven't got any testaments in our basket, uh, which means we won't be able to proceed past the first area, which will give us a new ending that relates more to Walperger, uh, Rose and Marine. Walperger, aka the old hag but <laughs> I'll let the law video break that one down for you guys How about some grape juice to go with the bread and the um, apple strudel sounds like a good meal if you don't you know if you're asking me I suppose this will be enough knowing full well it is not right so that's all three wrong let's see what it does Oh, that's different. Huh? Yeah, where'd she go? Where are you? Hey. Do we need the flashing wire? She's been sucked into the tree. The womb, if you will. Sorry, I'm also doing the lore video, like, alongside this video. Sorry. <laughs> Where am I? What is this place? It's like the beating heart of these woods, of the old hag. There's some lovely fish frog bones in there. And who is that exactly? You've come to me, my progeny. Even though technically you're not as told by the devil, you're not actually... Um, or maybe she is technically Elisa's mother. 
It's you, the old hag. You've done well in finding your way to my grove, Elise. Oh, how I struggled to reach you before you reached him. Stay away. Those vexing pets of his taking hold of my woodland as they pleased. But now I can take back what's rightfully mine. No, stay away. I've tried, Lise, endlessly, over and over again, to create life just the way he did on that very day. Huh? Using my fertile soil to conceive you? My womb? Don't come any closer. Dang. She be the tree. And now, Elise, at last. Dang. She got stabbed through the stomach. At last, my beloved, I can embody your human vessel. I was used by him and his marquises relentlessly so, all for the sake of that woman's insignificant wish. I bore you in my womb, I nurtured you, my beloved. Yet he still dares interfere with my kin. So basically, when Granny Hole came to see uh, Ozzy, um, she went through Old Hag's or Woolperger's woods to do it. And so Granny Hole asked for a baby. And so he said, all right, in the same way that he did with the lease. Um, and basically used the old hag and like her magic as a witch. Um, made her birth the child in her woodland. Um, and then he took uh, the child, Elise, and gave it to the gave it to Granny Hole. So that's basically how it was, and both of them were trying to attain ownership of Elise, if you like. Very good, very interesting. You are mine, Elise, not his, not your grandmother's. You, my beloved, are what I'm not. Oh, Elise, I can feel your heart thumping in my chest. Your burning fingertips, your tearful eyes. I can feel your living, breathing body cradling me at last. With this, with your human body, which I bore, I can once more bear life in my womb. I can live as a woman. And just like the first night, the <laughs> patrol... <laughs> Look at her. She's got the butterflies on her head. That's kind of cool. Ah, good evening, gentlemen. Wandering about after dark again, Elise? I'm sorry, Mr. Bernard. It seems I got carried away with my duties. Mrs. Elmer needed help until a little later, you see. It's a good thing you're so dedicated, Elise. Of course, it's a pleasure to help my neighbours. Why, well, you sound like a completely different person, Elise. Still in good spirits after the festival yesterday, are you? Oh, it was the best we'd ever had, after all. Dang. That's a cool ending. I like that it's just given the fact that you didn't submit any... Well, it actually makes sense, the fact that you didn't submit any testaments to him. Um, you submitted other things that basically got you into the womb of the woods, which is her domain... Uh, it didn't get quite get to him in 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 that um, in that gate in the tree thing. A little confusing, um, but yeah, that was a very that was a very cool ending, and, and say so it makes a lot of sense. Again, there's a lot of lore around her, around um, Saint Walpurga, um, and a lot of that revolves around this Father Hans ending that I'm playing through. That I will show you guys. Probably in, I'll show you guys in the lore video. Uh, I really hope I get it out by the end of the year. If not, I'll be so, so annoyed. I'm, I'm working hard on this, guys. I'm working hard. Is there another ending I can do right now? I don't think there is. 
Let's see it. Ooh. The motherly cocoon. Embraced in the hands of Scent Walperga. But yeah. A fun little game. Um, I think I said during like one of the episodes that sort of like relationship games, stuff like that, aren't necessarily my forte. But obviously, I loved the the dark themes and stuff in the um, the witching hour uh, and all that sort of stuff. And obviously, because I played Pocket Mirror and I loved Pocket Mirror, uh, I had to play this as well. And it was cool. And the characters are really good. The style, the art style, the visuals. Oh, beautiful as always. Astral Shift really have such a unique set of skills for the games that they do. They always go over over the top and, and, and do so so many uh, parts of their games in like such unique and specific um, art styles, and it's just so cool to see. And they've done it again with Little Goody Two Shoes, like they did with Pocket Mirror. Um, so I look forward to seeing what they do next, man. Um, I will be trying to get the other endings I'm gonna start my law video freaking ASAP because I want to get it out before the end of the year it'll be on my last law video before the end of the year obviously I don't do let's plays that much anymore um, part of the reason was because views generally on them are bad and the ones on these haven't been terrible like at least for my channel so thank you guys uh, to those of you that watched it and uh, yeah keep an eye out um, for the I don't know if it'll be little goody two shoes explained maybe I don't know we'll see Anyway, have yourselves a fantastic day. Hit like, check out some of my videos, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next video. Good night.